Howdy folks, Luke here, and today we're going to uh, be looking at a security feature on IDs. And a lot of the times when people check for fraudulent or fake IDs, um, they're checking for the hologram, um, or they're checking for a ghost picture. But today we're just going to be focusing on something called microprint. To the naked eye, um, microprinting on an ID or a driver's license will look like either a straight line or it'll look like um, lines that are in some kind of shape uh, printed either on the front or the back of the ID. So for example, we have three IDs over here. Two of them are real and one of them um, is a fake. And so let's, uh, let's start with this real ID. So we have this young lady's ID and the microprint on a Washington driver's license or ID, it's going to be a straight line under the big word of Washington in the upper, um, the upper left hand corner. So we're gonna take this magnification tool. When we use this magnification tool, you can buy this on Amazon for like 15 bucks, and you look underneath um, that big word Washington, that seemingly straight line should look like, or should say, um, seal of Washington. And it's going to repeat itself over and over and over again. It's probably difficult to see through the camera, but I'm sure you can see that it's not just a straight squiggly line or a straight line. It's a, it's a series of letters or words. It says state of Washington over and over and over again. Now, if we look at the Washington uh, enhanced driver's license, the uh, microprint will be along the mountaintop over here. So if you come in close, um, you can see the, the top of the mountain. Um, let me back up a little bit. The top of this, this mountain lining right here is actually where the microprint is. So it's not just the top of the mountain. And we're going to look under it again, under the, under the uh, magnification. And if you zoom in, you'll be able to see that that line actually says state of Washington right there. There we go. You can kind of see it focus in and out. But it says state of Washington over and over and over again. So that's the microprint for uh, both the Washington ID cards. Manufacturers that create false or fake IDs, 99% um, of them will not be able to replicate microprint. They can replicate holograms, although uh, they can replicate UV features, although a lot of the times these manufacturers don't know where these holograms or UV features go on an ID, but we're not talking about that. We're just talking about microprinting and most fake ID manufacturers can't uh, replicate print of that size. So let's take this um, Illinois ID. This is a fake ID, for example. Um, the microprinting is actually going to be on the rear side of this ID, and it's going to be under the website. It's going to be on the line underneath the website. So you can probably see it already, but if we put that under magnification, let's get it right here, see if you can see that. You're going to see that it's no words at all. It's just a, uh, a little line. So, so this is one that is a uh, fraudulent ID. They look pretty good to the naked eye, but if you know what you're looking for, and microprinting is, is a great way to spot a fake because manufacturers can create holograms. They can create uh, UV features, uh, but they won't necessarily know where those are supposed to be placed on the ID. But nevertheless, if you don't know where they're supposed to be placed either, then um, looking for microprinting is another great security feature to, um, to look for.